In this tutorial, we get you up and running with the Dynamic PDF API. First, we illustrate creating a report using the Dynamic PDF Designer. We then use the DLEX layout endpoint to return the PDF report created by Designer. Then we call the Dynamic PDF API PDF REST endpoint to merge three PDF documents into a combined PDF. You must first have a Dynamic PDF API account before you can complete this tutorial. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for one free, but I already have an account, so I'm going to log in to the Dynamic PDF API. Click Login. You can sign up using your Google or Microsoft account, or you can create a local account. But I already have an account, so I'm going to log in to the Dynamic PDF API. Now enter your email address and your password, and then click Login. After logging into the Dynamic PDF API, you're first taken to the Dynamic PDF dashboard. The dashboard is where you work with your Cloud API account. Let's start by selecting Files to open the File Manager. Next, select Samples, and then click Add Samples to open a listing of available sample applications. Be sure to spend some time familiarizing yourself with the available samples as there are sample applications for all of the Dynamic PDF API's major features. We want to use the Getting Started sample, so select that sample. Click Add and the sample is added to your file manager. Now expand Getting Started and you'll see a JSON data file, an image used by the report, and a DLEX file. A DLEX file contains a template for building a PDF report, while the JSON file contains the data used by that DLEX file. Now, because the DLEX file and the JSON file both have the same name, you can just double click on the DLEX file and it will open the file in Designer. So go ahead, double click on the DLEX file to open it in Designer. The first thing we're presented with is a cover page. Let's scroll down to the report section. Notice the report section has a header, detail, and a footer section. Now open the layout data editor to review the JSON data. The first lines are top-level, non-repeating data. This data is typically used for cover pages, headers, and footers. The sales element is a data array, where each item in the array is an item containing an ID, name, quantity, and price. Now close the layout data editor. Look to the right and notice that the data explorer contains the fields from the layout data editor. For the top level, we have author and title. Then there's the sales array, and it has the element's ID, name, price, and quantity, exactly the same as the JSON data. Select title, and notice that it's a record box that contains the report title field from the JSON data. In the details, note that each row from the array is a row in the detail section. For example, the first element name is a field. Also notice the calculated field that multiplies the quantity and price for each row. Looking at the footer, we see it has a sum for the order total. Finally, notice the header contains labels that contain the column names. The column names are just text. Now let's go ahead and generate the PDF. Find the little green arrow on the toolbar and click it and Designer generates a PDF. The report's first page is a cover page. Scroll through the data and notice the header and footer on each page of data. There is obviously a lot more to Dynamic PDF Designer than we just presented here. But as you can see, Designer is a powerful but easy tool for creating PDF documents and reports. Of course, Designer is just one of the many tools available to you when using the Dynamic PDF API. Now let's use the DLEX layout endpoint to combine the DLEX and the JSON file that we just examined in Designer to generate a PDF report. We're using the DLEX layout endpoint, but before we can do that, we need to get an API key, which we will use to call the endpoint. So return to the dashboard and select API keys. If this is the first time visiting the Apps and API Keys panel, you will be presented with a default app with no API key, and you'll need to create an API key, which we do here. Click the Create API Key button to create the key. Okay, let's show and hide the key, just so you can see the full key. Click the Copy icon to copy the key to your clipboard. Now, return to the File Manager and download the file gettingstarted.json.
Now that we've downloaded the file, here's how the DLEX layout endpoint works. The DLEX layout endpoint is a POST request that takes the getting started.json data as a request parameter. The DLEX layout endpoint then sends the getting started.json data to the dynamic PDF API endpoint. It also sends a relative path to getting started.dlex that resides in cloud storage. Then Dynamic PDF API combines the DLEX file and the JSON file to create the PDF. The DLEX layout endpoint then returns the PDF as binary. Now we could use something like curl, but let's go ahead and use Postman to call the endpoint. By the way, you can access Dynamic PDF's Postman collection on the Postman API network. Select the collection and then select environments. Paste the API key from your clipboard to the environment. Persist all and then save it. Now go to the DLEX layout template. Make sure the environment is loaded. Note that the URL and the API key are provided by the environment. Upload the getting started.json file to the layout data. The template also has a key named resource. This would be correct if we were getting the DLEX file from our local file system, but we're not. We're getting the file from cloud storage. So return to the file manager, right click on getting started.dlex, and select copy file path from the context menu. Return to postman. Change the field name from resource to DLEX path. Ensure the field type is text. And then paste the path we just copied to our clipboard from the file manager. Click send and the report is generated and returned to Postman. Now let's switch gears and view the PDF endpoint. The PDF REST endpoint is an endpoint you can integrate into your applications to create PDFs. Let's use the Merge PDF Sample application and use the PDF endpoint to merge three PDFs into a combined PDF. How it works is we're going to call the PDF endpoint with an instructions.json document, two PDFs from our local file system, and a PDF in cloud storage. The two PDFs in the instructions JSON are sent as post request files to the PDF endpoint. Then, Dynamic PDF uses the instructions.json to combine the two uploaded files and the file in cloud storage to create a new PDF. The combined PDF is then returned from the PDF endpoint as binary. Okay, now let's return to the file manager and add the merge PDF sample application. Find the Merge PDF Sample application, select the sample, and add the sample. Download Document A, Document B, and Instructions.json to your local file system. Now that we've downloaded the files, let's review the instructions document. Open instructions.json and we see a JSON file that contains the instructions for processing. Using the PDF endpoint, the instructions file specifies three PDFs where the first two are coming from our local file system and the last one is coming from cloud storage. Dynamic PDF uses the instructions.json to merge these three PDFs. Each input is processed individually, and the results are then merged into a combined PDF. Now let's go back to Postman and select the PDF template. Of course, the Environment Manager already has the API key from the environment when we added it for the DLEX layout endpoint. Add the instructions.json. Add document A, and now create a new resource field and upload document B.
click send and the combined PDF is generated and returned to Postman. And there you go. These three examples are just a few examples of how to use Dynamic PDF API for all your PDF processing needs. If you want to know more, be sure to review the Dynamic PDF API solutions. It provides examples for most tasks you might wish to accomplish using the API's endpoints. Also visit the Tasks Roadmap for more information outlining the many ways you can use Dynamic PDF API. And of course, we provide numerous tutorials to help you get started using Dynamic PDF's APIs. Now in this video, we call the DLEX layout and PDF endpoints directly as a REST POST call. A much easier and more powerful way to use the API's endpoints is by using one of our provided client libraries. Dynamic PDF API offers client libraries for Node.js, .NET, Java, PHP, Go, and Python. Access the client libraries from the Dynamic PDF API GitHub project at github.com. Also, don't forget Dynamic PDF offers the Dynamic PDF Designer. Designer is a very powerful tool for graphically creating PDF documents and reports. So try Dynamic PDF API for yourself. And we're certain you'll agree that Dynamic PDF API is hands down the most powerful tool for helping your organization create PDF reports. I'm James, Developer Evangelist at Dynamic PDF, reminding you, when you think PDF, think Dynamic PDF API. See you next time.